Hello fellow book lovers! So today's video is going to be very interesting because today I'm going to start a new series where I'm going to mention my favorite quote from a particular book and I'm gonna give meaning to it, like what I think about this particular quote and why this quote is my favorite quote from this book. So I already make uh, reviews for the books that I've already read and so that that's why I decided that why not make all, some videos about the favorite quote from this book also. Like I can mention the favorite quote from this book and then I can tell you about what I think this quote is about or what it, this quote means to me. So yeah, this is the uh, this is going to be the first video of this series and today we're gonna look into my favorite uh, quote from the book The Hunger Games by Susan Collins. So my favorite from this book, uh, uh, my favorite quote from this book is here your dreams are sweet and tomorrow brings them true. There is the place where I love you. So let's start about like uh, let start by saying what this quote means to me. So, The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins is a dystopian novel set in a world where the government controls the population through an annual televised competition where children fight to the death. The quote, here your dreams are sweet and tomorrow brings them true, here is the place where I love you, is spoken by the protagonist Katniss Everdeen as she reflects on her feelings for the fictional world of Panem. In this quote, Katniss Ever describes a world where dreams are possible and where tomorrow brings them to life. She also expresses her love for this world, implying that it is a place of comfort and safety. However, these sentiments are complicated by the fact that the world of Panem is one of violence, oppression, and fear. At first glance, it may seem that Katniss is simply expressing a desire for a world where her dreams can come true and where she feels loved. But this quote takes on a much deeper meaning when viewed through a philosophical lens. It raises questions about the nature of reality, the, roles, uh, the role of dreams in our lives, and the relationship between love and safety. One way to interpret this quote is to view it as a commentary on the power of the imagination. In a world where life is difficult and often dangerous, our dreams can be a source of comfort and hope. They allow us to imagine a world that is better than the one we currently inhabit. This can be seen in, a, in the way that Katniss uses her imagination to survive in the Hunger Games. She creates a mental image of herself as a hunter, which allows her to navigate the deadly terrain and ultimately emerge victorious. But dreams can also be dangerous. They can distract us from the reality of our situation and prevent us from the, taking action to change it. This is seen in the way that the citizens of Panem are distracted by the spectacle of the Hunger Games. They are so caught up in the drama and excitement of the competition that they fail to see the cruelty and injustice that underlies it. Another way to interpret this quote is to view it as a commentary on the relationship between love and safety. Katniss describes Panem as a place where she feels loved, but this love is complicated by the fact that the world of Panem is not a safe place. In fact, it is a place where children are forced to kill each other for the entertainment of the ruling class. This raises questions about the nature of love and its relationship to safety. Is it possible to love someone or something that is not safe? Is safety a prerequisite for love? These are complex philosophical, uh, philosophical questions that have been debated for centuries. One philosopher who has written extensively on the nature of love is Plato. In his dialogue, the Symposium, 
He argues that love is a desire for beauty and goodness. He describes love as a force that draws us toward the good and the beautiful. But he also acknowledges that love can be dangerous. It can lead us to make irrational decisions and to act against our own interests. The philosopher Frederick Nietzsche also wrote extensively, ex extensively on the nature of love. He believed that love was a way for individuals to transcend their own limitations and to connect with something greater than themselves. But he also saw love as a force that could be destructive. He believed that love could lead to jealousy, possessiveness, and other negative emotions. So, in conclusion, the quote, Here your dreams are sweet and tomorrow brings them true. Here is the place where I love you. From ha The Hunger Games raises important philosophical questions about the nature of reality, the role of dreams in our lives, and the relationship between love and safety. It suggests that our dreams can be a source of hope and comfort, but they can also be dangerous if they distract us from the reality of our situation. It also raises questions about the nature of love and its relationship to safety. Is it possible to love something or someone that is not safe? Is safety necessary for love to exist? These are complex philosophical questions that require further exploration. From a philosophical perspective, safety and love can be viewed as two distinct values that are often in tension with each other. On the other hand, on the one hand, uh, safety is associated with security, protection and stability. It is a basic human need that allows us to live our lives without fear of harm or danger. On the other hand, Love is associated with vulnerability, risk, and emotional openness. It is a powerful force that allows us to connect with others and to experience joy, passion, and intimacy. The tension between safety and love can be seen in the character of Katniss Everdeen. As a participant in the Hunger Games, she is forced to navigate a world that is inherently unsafe and unpredictable. Yet, despite the danger, she develops a deep connection with her fellow competitor, Peter Malark. Their love for each other is a source of comfort and strength, but it also puts them at risk. Their decision to defy the rules of the games and to prioritize their love over their survival is a powerful example of the tension between safety and love. In the context of the Hunger Games, the quote, here your dreams are sweet and tomorrow brings them true, here is the place where I love you, can be seen as a reflection of the power of the imagination and the importance of finding sources of comfort and hope in different circumstances. But it also raises important philosophical questions about the nature of reality, the role of dreams in our lives, and the relationship between love and safety. Ultimately, the quote suggests that our dreams, hopes, and aspirations can be a source of strength and resilience in difficult times. They can inspire us to imagine a better world and to work towards creating it. But it also reminds us that the pursuit of our dreams can be risky and that we must be willing to take chances and to embrace vulnerability if we are to experience the fullness of life. So that's the meaning that I have for the best, in my sense, the best quote of The Hunger Games. So from now on, I'm going to make other videos of you know other books and um, I'm gonna mention what's my favorite quote from this book and I'm gonna give meaning to it I mean at least in my sense what I believe the meaning is so um, I'm gonna make a series of it if you like this one please hit the like button and let me know in the comments what you think about this um, idea of creating this series and what you think about this quote yourself if you have read this book already or just from hearing it here just let me know in the comments what you think about this quote in particular uh and yeah subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i make book reviews and 
you know quotes like this and the bookish things like this so yeah that's it for today's video i'll see you in the next one bye